everyone, and welcome to Nihongo Quick Lesson. I'm Rena Yamada, and joining us here today is... Hi! Hello, everyone! My name is Mr. K, and we'll be teaching you useful, practical Japanese phrases which you can learn quick, quick, in no time. Now, Rena, mm -hmm. why don't we bring in one of my students to assist us? Since you're already here, why don't we introduce someone else? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Grand Sensei of Japanese, Professor Kindaichi. We look forward to teaching you the most basic Japanese phrases. These can be used in many situations, so please pay close attention. Now, let's take a look at the following. Hi, I'm Paul. I've been here in Japan for about six months. I've still got a lot to learn about Japanese, but it sure is fun trying a new language. Canada. Oh, Canada. You just heard the following. Kuniwa Canada this. Kuniwa Canada this. Paul says this to explain that he's from Canada. Wa and this are commonly used in Japanese dialogue. Correct. These are very good to remember. Now, let's take a look at three different situations where these phrases can be used. Canada this. Oh, Canada. Bye. Oh, yes. Dare na no? Ano hito wa Tanaka san des. Soba desu ka? Kore wa udon desu yo. Now I know when you can use this phrase. In the first example, Kuniwa doko desu ka? Kuniwa Canada desu. Paul is asked where he's from. And he replies with Kuniwa Canada desu. Good. Kuni or hometown is A and Canada or Canada is B. Hence A is B. Hometown is Canada. In the second, bye. Oh, yes. Dare na no? Ano hito wa Tanaka san desu. Paul's landlady is curious about the lady he brought home and asks him who she is. He replies with, Ano hito wa Tanaka san desu. This is also an A is B situation. In this case, she is Tanaka san. In the third. Soba desu ka? Kore wa udon desu yo. Paul wants to know what type of noodles his friend's eating. Good. The friend says, Kore wa udon desu. Or, it's udon. Now, Mr. K, this A it's B concept you've been using, does that mean a and B are the same thing? <laughs> oh, again? I'm sorry, <laughs> Professor Kindaichi. Help us! All the phrases you just heard indeed indicate that A and B are the same, and that they are both nouns. This combination also works when introducing yourself, such as in my case, Also, by simply adding a ka at the end of desu, you're changing your statement into a question. Let's try saying it together. Kuni wa Canada desu. Kuni wa Canada desu. Remember, A is B. Works like a charm. Hi, 
My name is Kanjiyama Mai. So ready to learn some more Japanese? Don't worry, just watch it and you'll be fine. Today's words are chisai desu and okii desu. Let's see with a balloon. Chisai desu. Chisai desu. So watch it, feel it, and grab it. Easy as pie, isn't it? So until next time, see ya! Dogs are barking. Wang wang. Wang wang. Roosters are crowing. Kokke kokko. Kokke kokko. Now, I'll say something about you, Mr. K. Oh. Mr. K wa hen desu. Oh, come on. What do you mean I'm weird? I'm just unique, that's okay. all. Okay. Anyways, why don't we take a look at some more uses of this phrase? Uriko. Uriko. Horikawa-san wa toire desu. Ah, so. In the first clip, Paul's boss was looking for his co-worker, Horikawa-san. To which Paul replied, Horikawa-san is in the bathroom. In the second, Paul and his co-worker were placing orders. Very good, Rena. Paul wanted coffee, so he said, Watashi wa kohi desu. But Mr. K, A is B doesn't work in this case. Huh? Paul is not a cup of coffee, after all. Care to explain? Uh, I... Uh... See, I told you you're weird. Professor Kindaichi, care to take this? I'm weird. In the first clip, Paul says Horikawa wa toide desu, or Horikawa-san is bathroom, and in the second, Watashi wa kohi desu, or I am coffee. These are quicker ways of saying Horikawa-san is in the bathroom and I would like some coffee, and shows just how diverse, not to mention convenient, this A is B principle is. Let's try counting. Ikken. Nikken. Sangen. Yonken. Goken. Rokken. Nanaken. Hakken. Kyuken. Jukken. Ikken. Nikken. Sangen. Yonken. Goken. Rokken. Nanaken. Hakken. Kyuken. Jukken. Thank you all for watching. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm not weird. Andy is a young American on his first trip to Japan. He finds that customs and manners here can be quite different from those back home. How can he make sense of them? Sense of Japan. 
Welcome to Osaho Dojo, a place to learn about Japanese customs and Osaho, or etiquette. The instructor is Master Gary, and the assistant is the master's daughter, Koyuki. What will Andy learn today? Hmm, maybe it's time I lived on my own. Also, the rent's 80,000 yen. Not bad. So, she must have a skiing no hoga, Nikagetsubun, Baking and Nikagetsubun. So, it's a Maya tea, it gets a bun to a chuka de Surio no hoga. So, it's a Kangi no hoga, saying, coming on state, go pay Yonju Hachman, Hassan, and Masne. That's almost half a million yen. It's, it's too much. Sensei, I went to the realtor today and found out that it costs a lot of money to rent an apartment in Japan. Andy, you want to leave Osaho Dojo? No, I do not want to go to there. All right, you two, that's enough. It's true that in many cases you have to pay quite a lot up front when you decide to rent. Let me explain how you rent an apartment in Japan. The Japanese system for renting may surprise you. First, for information about properties, you search using housing information magazines, housing websites on the internet, and local realtors. When you find something you like, you must visit the realtor in order to make a contract. And in most cases, in addition to rent, you must provide caution money and key money, expenses unique to Japan. Caution money is a form of deposit. Basically, it will be returned to you unless you default on your rent. On the other hand, key money is like a tip, meant to promote a good relationship with the landlord. It won't be returned. When you rent a room in Japan, unexpected expenses await you. In the US, if you can pay for just one or two months worth of rent in advance, you can rent an apartment. In Japan, unless you have a lot of money, Moving can be impossible. And there are a lot of other important things you should know. Tell me! There's a distinctive way of interpreting the layout of a room in Japan. The size of the room is expressed in units called jō, based on the size of a traditional tatami mat. A tatami mat, one jō, is about 1.62 square meters. UB stands for unit bath, a combination of a bathing area and toilet in one room. Typically, walking time to the nearest station is clearly indicated. This is because the train and subway systems of major cities like Tokyo are crucial for commuting every day. The figure assumes a standard walking pace of 80 meters per minute. In Japan, the high season for moving is March, this is because the fiscal year begins in April. When you decide to rent, I've heard that you need a certificate of alien registration. Hmm. The number of foreigners living in Japan has increased, and recently so has the number of share houses, houses you share where the renting procedure is simplified and the rent is kept low. But these are challenges for Japan to face as it continues to open up in the future. If you want to live alone, you must learn how to cook. So. From now on, you cook for yourself. Ooh, I think I'll stay here now. <laughs> <laughs> Good. To me, Japan's culture continues to be mysterious and unique. Someday I'd like to get my own place and really become part of it. And another topic takes its place in Andy's Japan Notebook.